it's time for World Weather with our meteorologist, Taika Mori. Hello, Taika. Hello. So it was a calm, sunny day in Tokyo today, mm -hmm. and we have a three-day weekend coming yeah. up. Yeah, so we're all hoping this weather will stay. Will mm. it stay? Yes, it's going to be sunny during the daytime hours, and it's going to be warmer. <laughs> Tokyo's high will be in the double digits for the first time in 16 days. It's a great news, isn't it? And we will see sunny weather at least for the into the daytime hours but as we go into the nighttime hours we will see some rainfall that should continue into sunday morning now we have a low pressure system to the south of japan this system will likely affect the west first with rain winds and thunderstorms and then the wet weather will likely reach tokyo by saturday night and then that should continue into sunday morning so it's going to be a short-lived rain across the north a trough of low pressure will affect northern japan with rain first and that will change over to snow as we go going to Sunday and Monday. So as Aki mentioned, Monday is holiday. It's our National Foundation Day. So it's going to be a three-day holiday here in Japan. Tokyo's high 13 degrees rainy weather in the nighttime hours and then in the double digits on Sunday. That's more like March. And Kagoshima snow is on the menu on Sunday. Meanwhile, as you've just seen in uh, the video, uh, there was an ice sculpture event in Tokyo. However, in Sapporo, there's a very popular snow festival taking place. Snowy weather every day into Sunday and the temperatures will drop to minus 5 degrees. So real cold weather will come back on Monday. As for Fukui, where about 1.3 meters of snow is on the ground, we will see rain instead of snow and snow will come back on Sunday and freezing temperatures once again on Monday. It's a great recipe for avalanches, I'm afraid. So lots of snow is on the ground in Hokuriku and because of a rainy weather followed by cold weather, we will see ice coating. Uh, the snow and then we will see more snowfall on Monday so that could trigger avalanches easily so watch out for secondary disasters at least three people have been killed due to heavy snowfall in the Hokuriku region meanwhile across the south we have a tropical depression in the Mariana Islands this system will cause rainy weather in Guam as well as Saipan at least into Saturday and as opposed to the south we will see sunny weather across the Korean Peninsula very nice good news. Now, Pyeongchang's high minus one degree on Saturday. Actually, it's five degrees warmer than average for this time of year. However, cold weather will come back on Sunday, minus 15 degrees on Sunday. Gunnan will also see warmer than average conditions on Saturday, but things are cooling down sharply on Sunday. A significant winter storm is affecting the northern plains, the northern Rockies, as well as the Midwestern United States. In fact, Chicago may see up to 15 centimeters of snowfall on near Friday. Lake effect snow will be pretty heavy as well. Parts of the New York State could be up to 40 centimeters of snow. The rain will develop across the southeastern corner of the United States. Severe weather could erupt in and around, uh, in and around Mississippi as well as Louisiana on near Saturday. So watch out for large hail as well as damaging winds. All right, that's it from me. Have a nice weekend.